So I got myself this old pottery disc to play around with, but as you can see, I am really making a mess. Unfortunately, this one is so old that it doesn't come with a splash pan. And now I could buy a splash pan, but it will cost me 150 euros here in the Netherlands. And the entire pottery disc didn't even cost me half. So let's see if I can MacGyver my way into this. I bought this one for 12 euros and I think this is going to be my splash pan. This is a plastic cake container with a diameter of 35 centimeters and it's 12 centimeters high. But first, before I'm going to try to install it, let's clean up this mess. This is better, now let's lift up the top part of the kicking wheel. So, let's undo this screw. And now I can pretend to be very strong, but I wasn't. I asked Mr. Tutorials, and if you don't know who he is, check out my other YouTube channel to get this thing off. I have this piece of PVC pipe. And I am going to cut this to size so we can insert it in our splash pan. I don't want the splash pan to go all the way to the bottom here because if I do that it will keep spinning around uh, while I kick my kicking wheel. So this needs to be up in the air a little bit. And now I'm going to make a hole in this bowl here. Make sure that this fits right in. I can glue it together and then I have my very own splash pan. And it's quite convenient. There already is a circle here. And I am going to drill some holes around this circle and then remove the material in between. And now let's see if we can fit this in here. And of course there is a reason why I'm placing this part in here. And that is because when this fills up with water, the water won't go anywhere. I'll just tape this up with a little bit of duct tape to make sure that's a bit tighter in there. And this is way better. I am going to use this glue gun and make sure that this is covered and entirely waterproof. I am going to cut little parts here so I can fold this over and glue it again. I glue down the inside as well and let's say that it is going to work how I want it to work but water will run through here eventually then I will just go in there with some water repellent glue but I didn't have any so uh, this will have to do for now. And this is working how I want it to work. As you can see I placed two little pieces of PVC pipe down here because I want uh, this splash pan to stay up a little bit so that it doesn't turn around. Let's connect these to the splash pan, uh, to our pottery wheel and then we can try it out. Let's keep it simple and glue these on.
And now I'm going to make one small adjustment and that is just to make sure that I can connect this to my pottery wheel without destroying it. understand that this is looking a bit shabby but just keep in mind 12 euro splash pen or 150 euro splash pen so this can look a bit shabby and if this does work I can always clean it up paint it uh, replace these little things etc I ran some tie rips through these holes and now we can connect it to the pottery wheel and still take it off if it isn't working or if we simply want to take it off for something else As you can see, I can spin this. This isn't even moving. It's not touching anywhere, so this can move freely. And now, let's put it to the test. And now there's just one thing to do, and that is learn how to become a potter. First, let's see how this splash pad is working. And now the big question is, did it work? And it absolutely did. My clothes are almost clean. You can't win them all. Uh, but there is no splatter, no mess. Uh, everything is still looking nice. And I am going to show you. As you can see, everything wound up in there. The floor is still clean. And I would say that this is a very big plus. Again, a 12 euros splash pen. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just me MacGyvering a bit, having fun. And uh, maybe you can use this to your advantage.